What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to do a side by side with the, the Mini 5 and the Mini 6. There should be a lot of fun. Let's take a look and see what we got. So I have the uh, iPad Mini 5 and I have the iPad Mini 6 and instead of doing like a normal review I'm actually going to show you a lot of this stuff side by side. I'm going to do some camera comparisons, going to look at some web stuff and check out a couple games on the uh, Mini 6. Now I do, I do have a video on the Genshin Impact versus the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So if you're really looking at getting this as a gaming device, you can see my gaming shots on here and, and there, and it'll help you decide whether it's going to be a little gaming rig for you. But at $500, you know, it's it's a really good buy. So let's uh, let's get these things fired up. And here they, here they are side by side, and you can see the iPad 5 has the huge chins on there, you know, the iconic iPad look to it. And now the new one, they've done away with that, and they've done away with the, the Touch ID button. But what they've done is they've added to the power button on the on the top there. So that's a, I, I actually really prefer that. I don't like these super big chins. But what's interesting is is they've added the the bezel all the way around on the new iPad Mini. And you can kind of see it. It's at least just over a quarter inch going all the way around. And it's not bad, but it's actually it's about the same as the the old one so now I want to get the elephant out of the room about the wiggling now in actuality it doesn't seem this bad but this is what it looks like when you go to kind of scroll a site with lines on it and it does it really wiggles hard I'm not seeing any fixes for this yet and I just kind of want to show you guys exactly what the deal is because you're going to see a lot of sites and stuff people talk about how awful it is and it, it is awful to do it side by side like this but when i'm actually using the ipad it's not so bad so but i am going to do my best to show you exactly what it looks like right here so you can see it wiggling and jiggling around and it's distorted that on the five it's nice and clean moving so i'm sure this is a software graphic problem but you know I just wanted you all to be aware of it you can kind of see see how it's doing and you know it's unfortunate but it's not definitely not a deal breaker it's something that they could probably fix in the future but I really just wanted to kind of show you all that so you know exactly what people are talking about when they say oh don't get it because of this it's not a big deal it does look ugly side by side but you know very rarely are you just going to grab it and just start shaking it up and down on a website you know unless you just want to chuckle to yourself a little bit but you know it's it's not a big deal so we have these two and you can see side by side they both look really good now the newer one does have a different layout to it as you can see the icons are on the side it looks much more cleaner it handles the viewing of web pages a lot better so this is the old one, and you can see the, the thin bezels on there. Uh, one thing I do want to point out on this, and it is very nice to still have this, and I do enjoy this iPad Mini, how, how it's got the original, it's got a slight bevel around the edge, front edge of the screen, so when you're resting your hand and you're leaning over it, it's nice and smooth. You don't feel that, that rigidness. And that, that was one of the touches that they've done with this that's made it so nice. And that's that, let me get zoomed in there. That's that beveled edge right there, and you can see it, and that makes a difference on the iPad Mini. So when you round your hands on it, you know, you don't ever feel it. It doesn't feel uncomfortable, and it does feel really good. So, And there's the, the headphone port, which you'll never see again probably on another device. Also... The, uh, the power button there and then you got the camera and the, the rocker volume and all that good stuff. Now one thing this does have that's very unfortunate is it's got a lightning jack on there and here we got the new one and we have the, the touch ID button on the top which is great. You touch it, it comes right on. We have the volume up and down. We have dual speakers so this definitely has a good speaker upgrade which is really nice. Also 
As you can see, it does have a slight bezel. It's slightly rounded around the edges. So this does feel really good. This feels like an iPhone in your hand. And the big upgrade I want to talk about is the USB-C. So to me, this is a huge, huge upgrade because a lot of my devices are USB-C. So, and with the old one, let me uh, grab the old one and show you guys. This has the old lightning char charger to it. And it is much slower for data transfers and charging and all that good stuff. So this is the old lightning one. The new one's got the USB-C, which is super nice. So the USB-C on the iPad mini six is a 20 watt charger, which is pretty good. You know, it's uh, it charges up really fast. It charges up really fast for what it is. Now, I do want to get back into these sites and kind of show you some stuff side by side because I'm going to try to do as much side by side comparisons. So if you're looking to buy one or you already have one of these, uh, you'll know you'll know what to expect and what you're looking at. So right off the bat, you can tell the iPad Mini 6 on the left automatically just it just looks gorgeous. You can tell they've redesigned the the UI to match that that new screen. You know, so that's really nice. Now the iPad 6, you know, that's a 8.5 inch display and the old one, this one right here is 7.9. You know it's it's only a five percent difference but the difference is is you know the the way it handles the the screen so I'm going to show these side by side here you'll see what I'm talking about now even though the iPad mini 5 still is great you know I, I personally probably wouldn't even upgrade unless you have a specific reason to have this iPad mini 6 you know the difference is you know are, are, it's too close now, if you just use it as a, a tablet to view video and you keep it on your kitchen table or your living room table, and if you just occasionally use it for that, I wouldn't upgrade. Now, if you want to use this for work or something, you definitely want to upgrade because it, it has a lot of a lot of definite advantages. Now, the iPad Mini 6 has 4 gigs of RAM compared to the 3 on the Mini 5, so that's pretty important to know. And you can see how they handle, they move the taskbar kind of down to the bottom and they have the, the title information on the top and everything just looks really good on the six. Now you can see, you know, it, it looks really good. Let me jump over onto a different part of the, the top here. Let's see. Get in there. scroll it over a little bit and you can see the video the video is very good on both so if you're expecting like a dramatic difference this is exactly the difference that you'll have now the screen does fill in more you do have that chin going all the way around on the 6 and it's not as pronounced as the iPhone 5 or the iPad mini 5 but you know I enjoyed the, the chin on the iPad mini for just touching and holding purposes, but I'm so used to using, you know, a device like this that it just, the iPad mini six just feels natural in my hand. And you can actually see the, the screen difference right here. This is what it's all about. Now I'm going to try to pull up some side by side stuff on here so you can see stuff together and how it's resized and how it looks. Try to get some Apple news going on the same feeds here. So look at this. So you can you can tell right off right off the bat how it's you know it's more in a widescreen format versus the iPad Mini 5, which is still widescreen, but it's not exactly the same format. So and I'm not sure if I like it better. Or if it's just, you know, it's just an updated version really. And you can see that jelly scroll is not that bad. You know, even if you try to force it, that's what it looks like. So, you know, that side by side, the same view, it looks really good. They both actually look good. So that's why I was saying if you already have the iPad Mini 5, I probably would not upgrade unless there's something specific you're looking for. Because look, it's virtually identical. 
yes, you're getting uh, the new A15 processor versus the A12 processor, and you're getting a little bit of extra RAM and stuff. But if you're just using this to browse stuff and and look at video and stuff like that, it's it, it's not a deal breaker. You know, you'll you still have several several years on the iPad Mini 5, but this iPad Mini 6 has so many upgrades to it that it's going to last you you know six seven years probably. I would say. You know, you're going to get six years worth of updates when you purchase the iPad Mini 6. So, you know, you can expect it to be around for a long time with that new processor and a little bit more RAM. They've updated the cameras. You know, there's plenty of uh, plenty of improvements, you know, so you'll know it's future proof. So that's really good. And you can see side by side, it does look really good. Now you can see the, the frame rate changes on the iPad Mini 5 when you start scrolling faster. But, you know, I don't think it's a deal breaker. It is smoother on the 6. But that's what it really looks like side by side. We got Siri wanting to go. And there's the touch to open there. Now I'm going to fire up a, a little pool game here. And this is just, uh, just for FYI and kind of like what this would look like. So, this is just kind of a fun little game. I know a lot of people play it, and it's kind of a kind of a easy easy type of game to play with the graphics and stuff like that. Like I said, if you want to see a, a Jensen Impact, you know, I have that video where it kind of really pushes the, the limits of it. But this looks really good. You know, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't maximize the screen all the way. And you can see it's got like a half inch bezels on the left and on the right and even on the top and bottom it kind of blends the the bezel down and you know it's virtually the same as the other iPad now so you know you're losing an extra five percent now you can see where the the pull cue kind of runs off on the edge there and you know it's it's nice but you know I don't think it's wor really worth if you already have the five I don't think it's really worth the upgrade you know, unless you just really want to, you use a Die Hard every day and you're using it for work. But if you look at that pull cue, you can see where it's it's not going all the way to the edge like it could be. So it's kind of like the, the bezels underneath the screen in the software, they kind of made it that way. So, you know, it's just interesting to know when you're buying and you're expecting a full screen all the time, you're, you're just not going to get that, you know, just so you know there's that difference right there and it's at least a couple of fingers so you know you can kind of see the the difference it's at least a, a thumbnail going all the way around it's not a big deal but it, this game actually plays really well the balls aren't shuddering around there's no lag you know sometimes when you use a device like this in this game you start hitting the pool balls and they all start bouncing around real quick just for that brief moment you can start seeing some lag and, it, and it's, it's just not here. So, you know, if you're going to just do some casual things like this, you're going to be very happy. This is definitely, you know, going to be a fun little device to, to game on if, if that's what you want to do. Now, also, you know, this iPad mini has a ton of camera upgrades. The cameras on here are, you know, pretty amazing. You know, the iPad 5 isn't really known for its cameras. I'm going to do some camera shots here. And uh, the, the camera differences are, is amazing. So most people don't take pictures with their iPads. Now with the iPad Mini 6, you could actually use it to take some nice pictures, do some PDFs for work. If you wanna you know, scan and email stuff, you know, it's gonna be great for that. And now this is some of the pictures that I just taken live right here. And I'm gonna zoom way in and let's look at this picture. It does not look good at all. And you know, this is what you're gonna expect from the iPad Mini 5. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna win no photo awards with that one. But you know, it does a trick if you just happen to wanna catch a little moment and you know you're not gonna zoom way in obviously like that, but let's see what the iPad Mini 6 looks like. And it's gonna look really good. This has got a 12 megapixel wide camera. Uh, the aperture is only 1.8, you know, it's definitely doable. You got a five digital zoom on there. It's got a five element lens, it's got a uh, quad LED, it's got flash, autofocus, panoramic, it's got HDR3, it's got a ton of stuff. 
could do 4K recording on there, you know, at 25, 30, and 60 frames, 10 HD recording, all that good stuff. Let's zoom in and see. Look at that. That does, that looks much, much better. So it's obviously a much better quality camera. And so if you're looking and you think you might need something like that, this might be another reason to get this device over the iPad uh, Mini 5. And I want to show this game, you know, a lot of people, you know, wonder. This game here plays really well on mobile devices, but this is actually a desktop type of game. And it does take quite a bit to play it lag free. And you can still see a little bit of frame rate shuttering on here. But um, I just kind of wanted to show you. You can see that guy lagging a little bit walking around. And it's not that bad, but, you know, I just figure everyone should know it. That you are going to have these little types of annoyances. Now this is a RuneScape Classic. And I'm just kind of booting up to show everyone what it looks like on here. It's a little more demanding. You know, this takes a lot of system resources to, to use this. Now I'm going to kind of run in here where there's a bunch of people. I'm going to go to the exchange here. And let's see what it looks like with a whole bunch of people running around, hopefully. And see what we got. Oh, we got some people on here. And let's zoom in and see see what it looks like. You know, it's not too bad. You know, a little, little bit of stutter there, here and there. So, this is what it looks like side by side again. And I'm going to show you guys like the Apple feed. And the reason I'm doing some of these things like this is because this is... This is side by side, same news feed, same stories. So if you have one of these and you try to decide on the other, this is the experience difference that you're going to have. And I'm still waiting on the iPad Mini 5 to kind of load some of them pictures for some reason. I'll give it just a second. There we go. And we can see... You can see the... The frame rate difference when you're scrolling on the left is the mini 5 and on the right is the mini 6 they both look really good the one on the left the ipad mini 5 is a little bit more jerky trying to load all this stuff where the ipad mini 6 has been much smoother in that process so you know is it worth this upgrade yes if you already have the iPad Mini 5 and like I said, it's just a casual use for you, don't upgrade. But if you actually want to use this for work, if you're a nurse or you're a pilot or, you know, you want to use this as a little portable gaming device when you're traveling or a little internet device, it's going to be great. This should be a really great gift idea for this year. So I think uh, it's definitely doable. They've upgraded so many features on this. You know, from the USB-C plug, which in my opinion is a, a, a super big upgrade. Also, you know, the new speaker systems, the extra RAM, the new processor, the new OS. So there, and it's in a new square body design. So it's definitely going to be a great, great upgrade. Well, that's been my review, and I really appreciate y'all watching and following my channel and being a part of this community. Well, until next time, we'll talk to you later.